say you have, you have all no sorts of profanities and, and uh, no agenda for Buddha Christ. You are here for yourselves. How do you know? Y'all you were know arrogant. How do you know that? Do you, do you know? Y'all were so arrogant. How do you know that? I mean, you presume yeah, a lot of things about me, man. Just like you. No, you are. No, we're so the man's were very presumptuous. You know, the, the psalmist would say, hold beat my heart back from pre presumptuous sin. Yeah. But well, who's afraid? Your heart is not afraid. Y'all walk away. Who's afraid? No, let me handle this. Let me handle this. I mean, do you think, like, do you think tonight would be the first time somebody walked up, shouted a profanity through the microphone? I did not say a profanity. I don't know what you're going to do. I did not say a profanity. I did not say anything wrong. What I'm saying is... I right beside you and you walked away in fear. Sir, I, I, perfect love passed out here. I received the you love of Jesus. Sir. Yeah, my agenda is to preach the gospel. My agenda is to call people to repent. Agenda, how do you know that? I mean, how do you? I mean, how do you presume because to know you anything about me, sir? sir? You are, you are. Well, tell me my arrogance. You are just today, practicing sir. your own pride. Just like tell me. Just tell me what. Tell me what I've done. Just tell me what I've done. Yeah, you're saying, you're so saying the Bible verse is not to represent Jesus Christ, but represent yourself as to somebody uh, who's superior so, to everybody else who's walking uh, I've said nothing here. of the sort. Yes, you have. I have not. Sir. You're lying, sir. You're bearing not false witness. Mean, God says you shall not bear false witness against your neighbor. You're lying right now. I, we I have not I'm, I'm not better than anyone out here. I'm better off than many. You said, quote, I love seeing a personal example of somebody who walked beside me. Yeah. Yeah, like it, yeah, I, I love it. It's an encouragement. No, I'm not saying, I'm it's not an encouragement to see a scriptural truth happen right before your eyes as you're preaching. What's okay. wrong with that? Well, we walked by. And you yeah. had, you had I, a comment. I, 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 yeah. I shook hands with my friend. You had something to I'm say, always, like, well, I, I love seeing a personal example of like what's going on. With I wasn't even talking yeah. about you. Okay, well, it don't matter who it was, nobody, nobody well, was... that's not a guilty conscience, man. And then he said the guilty conscience. I mean, why do you presume that's not a guilty conscience? I mean, a guy came here like 10 minutes ago, he said, every time I go by here, I feel judged. I mean, I, I've already said, I'm not anyone's judge. I'm not above anyone here. I've been saved by the grace of God. And I'm, I'm just a beggar trying to tell other beggars where to find bread. The problem is, you don't want the bread. Hey, the same? You know, what, what, what can I say? Tonight you're pursuing the, the lust of this world, the, the desires of the flesh, the lust of the eyes. I mean, I'm telling you where the bread is, who the bread is, and I'm saying come to him, but you say, no, I, I won't come, I refuse to come. Y'all are, are so arrogant in yourself. That guy out there loves us. No, it's for a boy. Yeah, what, what have you heard us say that you object to? I, mean, I, I don't object to anything to I'm, I'm talking to him, friend. I'm not talking to you. I can only have one conversation at a time. I can't talk to two people at once. So what you want to do is be an argument, right? Sir, I'm, I'm saying I can't talk to two people at once. If it, it, he was talking to me first, so I'm happy to talk to you then. So I'm just asking in all the five years, how much have you actually listened? Uh, and and to, stop, just tell me, I'm just tell me one specific thing that you've heard that you object to. I stop all the time, and no matter who it is, whether I'm on campus. I'm just asking you, in five years, what have you heard? And give me one specific thing that you've objected to, where you would say is unbiblical. Okay, okay. I'll, I'll tell you this right here. Everybody, if you are sitting right now, the fact that you are out downtown. You are not living by the grace of God. You yeah. are going to hell. Not, nobody right. said that. You know that right? not, not one well, of How do you live by the grace of God? You accept Jesus Christ as your Savior. Yeah, well, I mean, what do you I mean, Maybe not by, in y'all's so, but well, well, so that, that would be my, like me saying, like, you know, all Atlanta Braves fans said this because right, you, right. you're you're an Atlanta Braves fan. Right. I mean, it's ridiculous. I'm, I'm, you can't Coca judge me by, like, what every person you ever heard, like, supposedly representing Christ. Well, this is a corner I've been on Friday nights for, you know, nine years. Okay. And not any of us have ever said it because you're downtown you're going to hell. Not one of us has what ever you said okay, that. Nor do I believe you. you. I bring out, I People bring go out. to hell because of their sin against God. Exactly. Well, I, don't I, know what, I don't know what your personal sin or anybody else's personal sin is. Okay. 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 As I bring out my friends love it. who are atheists, who are hey, people my friends, who are I'll people tell you who are in Christ, and I bring them out I'm and walk by this corner all the time. I don't win this, I'm in this. Persecuted, not loved. Tell me how that was done specifically. We do. Because I think those are just words that you're using. Not Buddhist. Objectified, persecuted. That's like part of the Me Too culture and all stuff. Like that. It's really popular yeah. these days yeah. to say that those are just words. But those words mean they something. They are. They would not be a word. Well, how was one of your atheist friends uh, 
What say objectified and what was the other word? Perse yeah, that's the word yeah. Persecuted. Yeah. Persecuted. Not too long. Can you but, can you give us a specific example yeah, of? Yeah, they come out and they're told they're not worth anything or they're lesser than. They're not as good as Christians. The truth is, is that we love them. We want them. I, I don't know what you're talking about, man. We're talking to all the people out here saying you're all created in the image of God. Every person on this planet is worthy of uh, dignity and respect. But that doesn't. But that doesn't change the truth of God's word. Is that without Christ, people are going headlong into hell. So, you know, I mean, you understand, you understand what I'm saying? Like, so love speaks the truth to his neighbor. You know, so if I love someone, I'm not going to comfort them in their sin, right? I agree. I'm going to tell them you need a savior. I'm a big. So I don't know what you're talking about, like persecuting your atheist friends. I mean, nobody's out here persecuting anyone. I, don't, I mean, first of all, persecution. I mean, you think that might be a little strong word, you know? Christians that get persecuted is like, you know, they're having their heads chopped off, you know, they're being like burned up, you know, at a stake or something like, so I mean like, I mean, maybe the worst could have somebody out here's words, but we're not calling people names, we're not saying that we're better than anyone out here, I'm not saying some, some person has uh, less worth in the eyes of God, but I am saying, without a Savior, you're lost. Without a Savior, you're going to perish in your sin. You're going to go to hell for all eternity. And I'm saying that because I don't want him to go to hell. I'm saying that because I love him. I'm telling point him to the Savior. I'm pointing him to the way, the truth, and the life. The bread of life. The resurrection of the life. The good shepherd. And all I'm saying is that we're from two different generations. And nowadays, yeah. 10 years ago, I would say, guys, be out here doing this. Yeah. But now, everybody is so offended by small words. No, no. Minuscule. I mean, nothing's changed. Nothing's they were all, changed. You, you know what? No, no. I mean, no. you know they nailed Jesus to a cross, right? I mean, you're talking about, I mean, the Bible says there's nothing new under no, the sun. There's nothing new. You, know, you know, they. Did, why do you think they nailed Jesus to that cross? What's your name, by the way? What's your name? All right, I'm about it. No, I, I just want you to answer that question. Why, why, why did they nail Jesus to the cross? All right, listen, listen, all, I, all I'm saying... Okay, answer that question for me first. All I'm saying is that... What's the question again? Why did they nail Jesus to the cross? I, w I would say fear. Fear of something perfect. Fear of something that right. is better than themselves. There is but that's not what the Bible says. Okay, but I would say that's... What, what would you say? Well, the Bible says it's because of the things he said. The things he proclaimed about himself, the, the, who he and claimed was, to be. And that was fearful for right. him. Right, so, but, but what I'm saying is they didn't cast Jesus, uh, or they didn't nail Jesus to the cross because he was like healing blind people or, you know, cleansing lepers or causing the lame to walk, right? No, they did it because he said he was the son of God. Right, they did it because he said, before Abraham was, I am. They did it because of the things he said. So, so the point I'm trying to illustrate is, I know, but the point I'm trying to illustrate is, you're saying like 10 years ago, 2,000 years ago, you would have said, I don't think this is the best way to do it. And it's the same thing they told the prophets. I mean, they stoned the prophets. Jesus went to the people with his name. Said, uh, "Which one? Which one of your? Uh, which one of the prophets did your fathers not persecute?" You know. So the prophets they preached and they were stoned. They were sawed in two. Things like that. Then Jesus preached. He was nailed to a cross. Then his disciples preached. His, his apostles preached. They were crucified upside down. One of them was dragged to death. You know. Another one. He, he wasn't killed this way, but they. Uh, you know, put them into like a cauldron full of oil and try to burn them to death. You know, so so I mean, like it was that wasn't because people thought I really love the way these guys are ministering. No, the gospel's an offense. Do you, you understand that? Yes. And I'll, Have and you I ever wanted, thought of it that way? I want it to be convicting. Like, right. What, we're right. the same side. So like when it, I'm saying though, when you say like, oh maybe my friends come out here and feel that or they feel judged or something like that. Do you think maybe that's for conscience? Oh, you know, God gave everyone a conscience. And, that, and that's con the root of with, and con with, science, knowledge. God bless you, man. Con with, science, knowledge. So that when they sin against God, So a lot of times people come by, they don't hear a word. See, this is, what, this is what we get. This is what we get all the time. See, this is what we get all the time. I mean, I, I, that's what I expect a lost person to act like. I don't expect a lost person to act like. God bless you, man. God bless you, man. I don't know. I'm praying that Jesus will set you free from your sin. I mean, can you show me in the Bible where it says that? Oh wow. Listen, listen to all the 
Yeah, 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 yeah. It's on the video, so. Yeah, 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 yeah. I got it, yeah. Wow. Just like you, just like you. Wow, wow. I like it.